From your presentation to your didactic video, the question is what shall I make first, the video or the presentation? No doubt about it. You can never start building in the second floor. You should start from the ground floor. It is impossible to make a good didactic video without having a good presentation before. These are basic rules and we have to follow them. And the basic skills to make your didactic video are to have a good scientific expertise, make good presentations, to have the skills to make a good narration and non-verbal communication. These are very important for the success of your presentation. During more than 20 years, only a short number of people could say that they know what a presentation was. But many people still are improving today their didactic skills on communication about making presentations. This is terrible. Let's improve it. What is really a presentation? It's a multimodal instrument complementary of your narration. Why? Because we are receiving information through different parallel channels by reading, by listening, by seeing and this complementary information makes the ideas in your brain. That's all. And that's what we need to make. And to make a didactic video after you define what are the objectives, you need to make your script, you need a good presentation to go after it. Trust me, start with paper, not with PowerPoint. This is a rule. A man makes lots of failures. Humans have been thousands of years telling stories in the walls of the caves, in monuments, in books, and so on. But to make a real, a real storytelling today, you should make what? You should make your script and you should enhance your communication with images because everything is going to the web and you have to be available to motivate your clients, your audience. Let's see how should we make it. Never make a random or a superficial preparation. Steve Jobs delivered some of the most inspired presentations during the, second, the, the 20th century. He should be used as a reference how to make it. And to build your storytelling, you should tell and show. This is the way you should do it. Be empathic, not only sympathetic. Be more. Create emotions with your images, with your words, with your presentations, and involve your audience. These are basic rules that you have to fulfill when you want to create your didactic video. And th three important rules are text should summarize your narration and should be well structured. More. Synchronize text appearance with images, with animations and with your narration in the slides. More. Never use large blocks of text. Never. A big text from the top to bottom, it's terrible. We are not seeing it. Our brain cannot understand it. Never use too much information in the same slide. It's against what all the rules are. See, you cannot see what is in there. There, it's an image. Your brain does not understand. 
This is for a reading document, not for a slide, not for a video. If you need to support your presentation with what is written, what we have written before, just use author notes. And you can use this technique of presentation. It's available in your PowerPoint or your presentation. Do it. You can be well. Another important thing, take care of your looking before your presentation. Your looking can destroy your presentation. How to make it? Be handsome. Make your presence strong and so on. This is important for the, the success of your presentation. Never use talk with chalk. This is a confusion. This is exactly what you should not do. In your presentation, you should emphasize your ideas. You should make short sentences taken, taken from what you have been talking for one or two minutes, but use short, strong sentences to communicate with your audience. Never limitate yourself to read a document. It's terrible. That is not a presentation. More. Look to your audience. Pay attention. Involve them. Or, to make your video from a good presentation, you have to have a good background and layout. You have to make a good narration with good techniques non-verbal communication and you may use some music background not absolutely necessary but in certain cases it's important it's involving more in your video you should be precise you should be concise you should be short you should be involving your audience with ideas and with emotions these are the most important spices for your video. More. Look into your camera. Now you don't have your audience in front of you, but you have your camera with which you communicate with your audience through. So, use it. Look to your camera and you are looking to your audience, but smile. Make a gorgeous smile. And this involves, as well, your audience. More. Never use your camera against a, a window. Olga helps us to show how not to do it. Thank you, Olga. And you can make contents presentation in video, but not too long. Maximum 10 to 15 minutes. But if you are making a video about how to teach step by step, how to do things, giving instructions, it should be much shorter, not more than three to five minutes, less if possible. What else? Six basic communication skills. Let us see. Let's look about them. Creativity. Authenticity open mind and empathy but you have to be clear clearness and make patience from your presentations this is absolutely important to do what else we have to say that you should pay attention because your credibility is on the table when you are making a presentation. You can destroy the contents, the fantastic contents of your presentation with a bad presentation. Be careful, pay attention to this. In e-learning environment today, we have to make, to use didactic videos. It's, they are absolutely necessary. So we decide to make some examples to make what is to make a normal video and after some improvements to make a good one. Let's have a look on it. Hello, dear colleagues. I'm very glad to have the opportunity of presenting this report. Uh, first of all, 
uh, e-learning environment should correspond to uh, contemporary youth, uh, to uh, their educational and um, communicational approach uh, to their uh, demands. Now about uh, the use of complementary techniques of narration, non-verbal communication and multimedia improvement, I can show you the same video with a totally different impact. Olga helps us to make these presentations. Thank you, Olga, for your support on doing this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues. I am very glad to present you the report about e-learning environment today. I represent Kherson State Pedagogical University of Russia, St. Petersburg, together with my colleagues, Professor Tatiana Noskova, Professor Tatiana Pavlova, and me, Olga Yakovleva. The question is, uh, what do we have today? Uh, what kind of students uh, are enrolled in our universities? There has been made a very high-scale psychological research, for example, in Russia, uh, concerning contemporary youth. And this research uh, found out mental, psychological and personal changes of contemporary youth. Uh, contemporary young people have um, uh, slightly different cognitive processes from those of their fathers and grandfathers. And finally, what I have to say is now you are facing the basis and you know how to make a fantastic video. Thank you very much for your attention.